Hi guys, welcome back to Borla Chefs. My name is Colleen and another really nice summer day um, in my city. So we wanted to share with you a very light recipe for some crostinis. So we're gonna be making crostinis three ways. And before I get tell you what the main ingredients are, I just wanted to recap a bit. I think this is a great um, way to, you know, have guests over when you, you know, you do wanna share some light appetizers and everybody can choose what they wanna have. But at the same time, I know it's COVID and we don't have a lot of guests around. You know, it doesn't mean that you and I can't have a really nice um, appetizer for ourselves. So the three appetizers Appetizers uh, that we're gonna make today, very similar, you know, con way of construction per se. Of course, the crostini is gonna be the same for all three, but the three differences or the three star ingredients that we're gonna try and highlight, and each of them are going to be different. So the first one, everyone's favorite fruit in the summer, mangoes. So one's gonna be a mango based. Second, olives, which are really bright and salty. And third, uh, it's going to be roasted uh, red and yellow bell peppers. So do check out the recipe. Hope you like it. And we look forward to your feedback. Thank you, guys. The Christinis have got a French baguette, which I'm going to slice into half an inch thickness. And then I'll add um, olive oil all over them and brush them in there along with some uh, garlic as well. What we've done for the garlic is just taken, um, you know, a single garlic clove and sliced it into half and then really just rubbing it on each of the individual uh, slices that we've cut up for the crostinis. And now we're just going to put them in the oven f at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about uh, you know seven to 10 minutes. However, you do wanna keep a really close eye. It's very easy to burn crostinis just cause they're not that thick. And um, what I do typically after about seven to eight minutes is actually put them on broil and quickly get that nice golden brown color and on broil you'll not need any more than a minute and again be very careful not to um, burn them the other thing i'd say is you don't need an oven to do this you can just simply put it on a stovetop pan uh, on low heat for about you know 10 minutes or so um, and of course, you can also get the color on it by throwing them, you know, following the pan process right into your toaster. And you'll be able to get that color uh, from a combination of just from the pan or both pan and the toaster itself. So that's really it. Uh, and that's the base that we're going to use for all our crusty. All right, so to get started, I want to start with the most complex of the three crostinis that we're going to walk you through today. So the first one, of course, it's the bell pepper crostini. So the number one thing, the main ingredient for this is the roasted bell peppers. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing that. What you can see here, what I'm doing is I've got two washed and dried bell peppers that I've just put on a stove top with an elevated mesh of any sort that you might have or any sort of a grill. And I've just really placed them, uh, placed the bell peppers on there and it will take about 15 minutes where periodically you would have to go and flip and turn your bell peppers to make sure you're getting that char evenly across the entire surface area of the bell peppers of course you could totally do this in an oven as well if that's what you prefer or of course if you want to do more right because the best thing about bell peppers is you can roast them and then just keep them on hand on stock you know in your pantry so you could do an entire tray full of bell peppers in the oven by putting it on broil setting and we would have to watch them, but it would take about five to seven minutes in total. And you would have to, again, do the same thing, you know, safely flip them uh, once they are in the oven. You know, be careful. Um, they do release a lot of steam as they are cooking through. So you do want to be just mindful of that. So again, here you can see I'm showing you that beautiful black um, char on each of the sides and that's when we know it's really done and ready to now be peeled all right so now it's just the peeling part um, i usually go right into the burnt part first 
or the extra roasted part if you want to call it and that's where i really start and really leverage and complete uh, the peel process and now what i've done here is i've chopped these already so i'm going to take the red peppers um, and then also the yellow peppers and i'm just going to combine them in a mixing bowl and we're just going to add some of the other ingredients that we're going to add to this so we've got some fresh um, coriander right off of our plant we've got we're going to do a splash of uh, white vinegar to this as well and then of course we need some salt to really balance out the flavors and also we're going to add um, a little bit of uh, black a uh, freshly grounded black pepper and that's it this is as simple as that we're just going to you know thoroughly mix it and we've got one of our uh you know toppings really ready and now we can shift on to the next crostini all right so the next one we have is the mango salsa um crostini so we've got some chopped mangoes i'm gonna add some uh, white onions feel free to add red onions if you've got red onions at home some fresh uh tomatoes that i've also uh chopped up here some lemon juice or lime i'm not too um, worried about if you're using lemon or lime here and then finally some fresh um, parsley or uh, coriander depending on what you have on hand we're just going to of course add some salt to balance out the flavors and also what i'm adding here for that extra kick is actually some uh, red uh, thai chilies if you do have any sort of fresh chilies at home feel free to add those red and red thai chilies are you know really great in something like a mango and tropical type of salsa and that's why i wanted to use that right here so there is your second topping that's ready it was as simple as that the most exciting part so i'm going to take the crostinis that are nice and warm and crispy and do the first topping which was the mango salsa that we prepared so this one is simply just taking that uh, mango salsa and you know really just topping it up the second one is the roasted red pepper one so the base here on the crostini is philadelphia cream cheese or any type of cream cheese that you can find a cream cheese spread and this is going to go really well with the roasted red pepper, you know, uh, topping that we created. So once I've got that done, I'm just going to go back to my roasted red peppers that we've uh, prepared together. And I'm going to add that mixture right on top of the delicious creamy uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. And overall, this is going to give a bit of a sweet kind of flavor. If you don't have uh, cream cheese, you can use ricotta. Uh, ricotta will go really really well as well uh, with this uh, flavor profile the last one as i said is actually the most e easy one um, the next so here we've got just some roasted red pepper hummus that i'm going to use as the base as the spread regular hummus works just fine if not even better in my opinion i had red pepper hummus at home so i've used that here i'm going to now top it up with some chopped olives um, again this is kind of creating a bit of, uh, you know, Middle Eastern and Mediterranean and Greek flavors here. So I'm going to uh, top it up with these um, olives. And then finally, um, to really elevate the flavors, you know, by one further step, I'm going to add some uh, crumbled uh, feta cheese uh, right on top here. Are the three crostinis that I wanted to share with you. And... Um, uh, it's great for any sort of parties or any entertainment that you might be doing as your guests could really pick and choose, you know, which crostini they want to build and they can actually build it themselves, you know, right fresh when they're about to eat it and you really can have all the toppings ready. So hope you enjoyed this recipe and uh, we look forward to bringing back uh, some more easy and entertaining recipes for you.